to our YouTube channel. So today I am going to explain you how to create a small database, small employee database. So there, uh, basically I want to explain you how to work with continuous forms. So that is what I am expect to explain by using this tutorial. So to explain this, I like to create small employee database. So with this database, I'll explain how to deal with Microsoft Access Continuous Forms. That is my main expectation. So before go to the video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Okay, first of all, I want to create a new database. To create a new database, to, to create a new database, what you should do is just open Microsoft Access and click on the blank database. Once you click on the blank database, then you can uh, give a name for your database. So here my database name is in employee underscore db. If I want to create this database my desktop, therefore I select desktop and press OK. Finally, I press create button. Now my database access database created. So uh, basically before designing uh, before before so basically I want to design my table uh, so here yeah, I have two main tables uh, the first table first main table is TBL employee so therefore I am going to create a new table and before that I am going to save my new table TBL underscore employee employee press ok button now go to the design view then you can design uh, your desired desired field so here this field employee underscore i so this is i want to uh, keep this field in number format let type this number then emp name employee means employee name then emp address so this is for employee address so I want to keep it uh, by as long text right then I want to add a combo box for uh, this will record whether the employee is a male or a female then uh, say uh, EMP appointment date for data format is date and time then employee uh, mobile EMP remarks. If you want to uh, put a special notes, then you can use remarks. So there, yeah, my data uh, type is. I want to keep it as uh, long text. Now, uh, employee ID is the primary key. So this is the uh, column structure, the variable structure of my database table. And I want to save my table. Then go to uh, data sheet. Now my table looks like this. Now L employee sub. So this is the second table. So I want to create a new table. Go to the create tab and click on the table. Then control S. Save your table as. Employee sub. Then go to the design view. So they are. Uh, same main table and uh, what we call sub table and they are the data type should be uh, same I mean ID, employee ID column data type should be same in both tables otherwise it's difficult to create relationship therefore 
here in my sub table here i also number in the main table here the employee id here the type also number so the data type is same so here i use for my continuous form get working experience for uh, my employees so i use continuous form to store employee uh, working experience from other companies so uh, then emp id then emp just say company name then emp position then emp service number of years so let's see right so that is so so these are the columns comes under continuous form uh, and also these are the columns of employee sub table then i want to remove the primary key here because i want to create a relationship in between dbl employee and dbl employee sub therefore i want to keep primary key from my for my main table from sub table i don't i don't want to keep a primary key now all the on the table structure my sub table is okay then i'm going to press save button and go to design view so this is the sub table of my employee database now after that i want to create relations okay my second uh, option is my second method uh, step is creating a relationship among these two tables to create a relationship what you should do is just go to the uh, create sorry let uh, go to the database tools then press on the relationships then select by pressing control button uh, select both tables and press add then you can see your tables like this then i want to create a relationship one to many then i want to keep, create a one to many relationship in between these two tables so to create a relationship i want to drag employee id employee id to dbl employee sub so once you drag drag it uh, to employees dbl employee sub then you can see this kind of window so here my relationship type is one to many you can see so i want to create a enforce integrity i want to enable in enforce in preferential integrity and i want to uh, check these two boxes cascade update related fields and cascade delete related if you you need to check this uh, two text boxes also then uh, if, when you delete record from your main table then the related records of your sub table also deleted and if you uh, want to update your main table as a related record to uh, records related to sub table also update therefore you have to enable the cascade update related fields and cascade delete related records so, however we have to check these three options then press create button so once you create the once you press the create button then you can see uh, one to many relationship created among these two tables now save the relationship and close the relationship tab now we created relationship we created two tables and created relationship in between two tables using employee id then the third step is to create the related form to create a form you know click on the create button then select blank form then uh, save your form as file in the same press enter button now right click and click design view here and again right click and add the form header like this then you can uh, add the label under the design let's say employee database so uh, you can increase the font size also then i want to change the font color to black bold your font so that is how you are form heading then i want to add text boxes here 
before that i would like to add the control uh, property records of property to bbl employee so now i say form record source to tbl employee then i can add text boxes go to design view press on this text box then you can adjust the text box as you need right then i want to uh, copy and paste this is for, for employee id so likewise i can uh, add more text boxes so my uh, first text box is so select your text box and go to the uh, data tab so there under the control and the data tab you can see control source so there select employee id then here i want to change the label name to employee id and for the second text box select name then employee name text box this for address address and the fourth one for the fourth one i have used i have to use drop down menu so i want to delete this box and i want to add a drop down or combo box so they are on this i'll select i'll type the values that i want then press next button then you have to type is a male the second one is female then press next button next button you can use control uh, source property to employee sex and for this one you need to uh, add employee position for this one employee mobile for this one you need to add employee email and the final one final text box is for let's say remarks so these are the text boxes in here employee position and this is for employee mobile and this is for employee email and final one is for email so i want to i want to increase the font size so like all the text boxes and go to home button and uh, in this font size 14 then then go to the uh, layout view
Yes, now my employee database main form setup is like this. So these are the data I want to input across the via the uh, FRM main form to PBL form. So in this case, after that, I want to add a sub table. So to the sub table, I expect to enter employee working experience from uh, past working experience from each and every individual. So therefore, in this case, I want to use Microsoft Access Continuous Form. So how to create a continuous form for this one? So just you need to do something like this. Go to create button and create a blank form. Then you have to save your form as far and sub. Press OK button then go to the design view. Then again add form header. And reduce the, uh, the space here like this. Then you need to add Then you need to add uh, what we call it. Uh, so here I don't want to. If I, here, here also I want to uh, add control source property for my sub table. So for my sub table, my control source properties. Then I want to uh, add company name. So here yeah, I am designing my uh, sub table, sub form. Then employee position. And the third one, or the last one is employee service. So these are the three resources from under in this access sub form. So here I want to place labels for design tab and add the label here. So here from pen name. After that, the second one, employee position. This is our position. And the third one is service. Yes. So this is the three textbooks comes under Microsoft Access sub form. Then I want to keep my form as a uh, what we call as a continuous form. To keep this as a continuous form, you just you have to click on the format tab by selecting the sub form. Then you need to change the default view. So here by default, uh, single form is selected. Then I want to select continuous forms from this drop down menu. I selected continuous form the drop down menu then you need to save. After that close your form under the design view you can drag and drop your sub form like this. So once you drag and drop your sub form it looks like this. So you have to drag down your sub form to your main form.
you can say employee past working experience then change the font color to red Okay, now go to the form view. Now here you can see uh, what we call our sub form uh, looks like this. So save the process. So this is how you need to uh, create a we call uh, sub form. So after that, I want to add a what we call a control buttons. So here you can. I am going to add a add button. Just keep, just put the button. And select the form operations. Sorry, record operation. Then select the add new record. And I want to add my record. Then enlarge the button. Then go to home tab and increase the font size. So it is for add button. Then again, you can add what we call another button. Yes. So design. The button then record operation let's say duplicate the same delete records Alright, so I added two buttons, one for add a record and the second for one for to delete. So after that, if you need, you can add a navigation buttons. How to add a navigation buttons? Go to the uh, design view, then click on the button and place a button. So they are go to the uh, record operation, sorry, record navigation, then select Go to post record. Next, finish. This is to this is this part this button to move first record. Then I am going to add another button. So this button is to go to next record. So this button is to move to next record. Then I want to add another button. So this button is to go to previous record. I want to change the position of this button like this. This is for the previous record and this is for the next record. And the last button is to go to last record. Go to last record. Next. Next. So I, now I created the navigation button for my form like now save your process so if you want to make this somewhat attractive then add the, this frame here Now I am going to test my database. So to test database, just click on the uh, form view. 
functional in the power view we have something like this so my first employee id is 1100 the name is yeah what an address is Is accountant. So my number is one email address abc at email.com. So no remarks here. Then uh, I want to add my previous experience it's from this one. And I work there as accounts executive. So my working service period is just four years. So I have worked in another company. My position is audit. The second by working experience is audit tool. Now I added my service reports, previous service reports to my continuous form. Then now I am going to press add button. So once you press the add button, my record details, records added to my database. So I can use my navigation buttons to move uh, across each and every record. So if I want to delete, I can delete any record by pressing this button. So if you select your main for main table, then you can see main record is like this, and this hub record you can see like this. So that is how you. Yeah, so that is the procedure of using. And this access continuous forms to uh, create databases. So, uh, so I think the steps I did or followed, the steps I use are clear to you. So if you need any clarification or any explanation further, please put a comment under the video comment section. So I would like to develop this database database further with you. So here I created main form and the sub form. For sub form, I use MS Access Continuous Forms. So this is what I wanted to explain today. So after that, I mean, from my coming tutorials, I want to develop this database further. So there, I expect that search box and also uh, reports, designing reports, and so on. So this. Those areas I'll explain with my future tu video tutorials. So that is it for today. So I think you learned something from my explanation. Okay, let's stop this video. Thanks for watching.